Number 1 Overall WNBA Draft Pick Caitlin Clark had mixed success in her regular season debut Tuesday night, scoring 20 points but committing 10 turnovers as her Indiana Fever lost to the Connecticut Sun 92-71. The all-time leading scorer in NCAA Division I history tied for the most points scored in the game with Connecticut's Dewana Bonner. Clark went up against Alyssa Thomas, the 2023 league MVP runner-up and Connecticut Sun forward. The Sun's four-time All-Star notched a triple-double Tuesday with 13 points, 13 assists, and 10 rebounds. The Suns had five players in double figures, with Bonner leading the way. Bonner tallied 20 points and had six rebounds. After finding herself in foul trouble early, Clark spent much of the first quarter on the bench. Midway through the second quarter, Clark made a steal and took the ball down court for a transition layup to score her first career WNBA points. Her first three-point bucket came in the final minute before halftime. Clark picked up her pace in the second half, but the Fever were overwhelmed by the Sun team, a semi-finalist in last season's WNBA playoffs. Clark struggled with ball security against the Suns' intense defensive pressure. Clark also added three assists and two steals against the Sun. After the loss, Clark said she would have liked to have played better during her debut game, but that she's eager to do so during future games this season. Obviously, I'm disappointed. Nobody likes to lose, that's how it is, Clark said in her post-game interview. But I don't think you can beat yourself up too much about one game. I don't think that's going to help this team. No matter who it is on this team, no one can do that with how they played, she said. Just learn from it and move on. It took her a little while to settle into the game, Clark said. I thought the second half was a lot better, minus some of the turnovers. But just getting more comfortable, and that's going to come with experience and getting to play with these girls, she said. And the more games I play, the more comfortable I'm going to get. The Fever will be in action again on Thursday in the team's home opener against the New York Liberty at Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. The WNBA season started with the league's newest star taking center stage. In the WNBA general manager's predictions for the season, Clark was voted most likely to win Rookie of the Year. The rookie sensation, who had a historic NCAA season with the Iowa Hawkeyes, is at the forefront of a new wave of interest in women's basketball and her arrival in the WNBA is a moment fans have been anticipating for some time now. More than 13,000 fans were in attendance as Clark made her home preseason debut last week in an 83-80 victory for the Indiana Fever over the Atlanta Dream. Hype for Clark's debut season has been at a fever pitch for home and away fans. On Monday, the Sun announced their opener against the Fever was sold out with 8,910 tickets at Mohegan Sun Arena in Uncasville, Connecticut, snatched up. The Sun last sold out the Mohegan Sun Arena in 2003, more than 20 years ago. At Mohegan Sun Arena, Clark's fans made their presence known with a big ovation during player introductions and loud cheers the first time Clark touched the ball. Indiana Fever rookie Caitlin Clark overcomes early struggles to rack up 20 points and 3 assists in her first WNBA regular season game. Uncasville, Connecticut, Caitlin Clark scored a team-high 20 points but committed 10 turnovers, the most in a career debut in WNBA history, as her Indiana Fever fell 92-71 to to the Connecticut Sun in their season opener Tuesday at Mohegan Sun Arena. Clark, NCAA Division I basketball's all-time leading scorer and the number one pick in this year's WNBA draft, didn't get on the board until the 5:24 mark of the second quarter when she converted on a drive to the rim off a steal. I'm disappointed and nobody likes to lose, but I don't think you can beat yourself up too much about one game, Clark said. I don't think that's going to help this team. Just learn from it and move on. The game had the bustle and energy of a WNBA Finals matchup. Fans donning Sun, Fever, and even Iowa gear lined up to get into the arena more than two and a half hours before the tip. The Sun handed out more than 170 media credentials, with ESPN's WNBA Countdown desk station near the Fever bench and overflow media coming from near and far situated in a skybox. The crowd of 8,910 marked the Sun's first home opener sellout since 2003 in their inaugural game in Connecticut. Clark who emerged as the face of women's basketball while in college at Iowa, elicited cheers from the crowd, including the moment she corralled the ball off the opening tip, when she scored her first official WNBA points off a layup and when she got going from the three-point arc. 
but the Sun gave their fans plenty to be loud about throughout the evening, securing the lead four minutes in, jumping ahead by as many as 15 late in the second quarter and not allowing Indiana to get closer than five. The loudest cheers were for 14-year veteran Dewana Bonner when she was honored during a timeout for becoming the league's number five all-time scorer, and for Alyssa Thomas when she notched her 12th career triple-double, including postseason play, late in the fourth. Thomas, who came in second in MVP voting in 2023, led the league in both total assists and total rebounds last season. For me, personally, I felt like a lot of people felt like last season, for Thomas, was a fluke and it wasn't going to happen again this season, said Bonner, who was Thomas's fiance, E. For her to set the tone, like, yeah, that wasn't a fluke, I'm back, that's just huge for her. The Suns' veteran core and defensive identity was too much for a young fever team still learning how to play with one another. Indiana, which also got 13 points from post player Nalissa Smith, turned the ball over 25 times, which Connecticut converted into 29 points. The Fever, who are hoping to snap the league's longest active playoff drought at seven seasons, have lost their opening game in 10 of the past 11 campaigns, with their only win coming in 2019. They punched us in the mouth tonight, Fever coach Christy Sides said. Reflecting Tuesday morning after shoot-around, Clark said that while the outside world might believe she'll do amazing things in the WNBA right away, she understands it might take time. That learning curve was apparent Tuesday. Clark's 10 turnovers, coming against a Connecticut squad known for its defense and physicality, were the most in a game in Fever history. Cynthia Cooper held the previous record for turnovers in a career debut with eight in June 1997 during the inaugural WNBA season. I think definitely the physicality, Clark said when asked what was so difficult for her on Tuesday. I think also just like some uncharacteristic stuff. Like, I pick up the ball and travel, I dribble off my foot, I pass it on the inbound, I turn it over. So, just a few things that are just, you have to be crisper. Dejanai Carrington, a fourth-year guard out of Stanford and Baylor, drew the primary assignment on Clark. 